Welcome to the Magic Online Championship Series Recap. I'm Rashad Miller, and I'll be going over the highlights of the Player of the Year Championship. The Player of the Year Championship was held on December 15th. Players needed to finish in the top 150 qualifier point earners in 2012 in either Constructed or Limited to play in the championship. 164 players battled it out in the standard Constructed format. The top 8 players were... Osman Osguni finished in first place and played Naya Humans. Karate Key 24 finished in second place and played Black Red Aggro. Highway Colsair finished in third place and played Black Red Aggro as well. TK Gans finished fourth and played Four Color Midrange. Urari Yuko finished fifth and was yet another black red aggro player. HT991122 finished in sixth place and played mono red aggro. Triask finished in seventh place and played red, white, blue, flash. And Silver Falcon finished in eighth place and played Golgari aggro. Let's get right to the top eight. Quarterfinals, HT991122 versus Highway Corsair. Game 1, both Highway Corsair and HT991122 built very aggressive board presences and dropped each other down to a low life total fast. But it was the burn from HT991122's mono red deck that finished off Highway Corsair in the first game. Game 2, HT991122 came roaring out of the gates, while Highway Corsair had a much slower start. HT991122's Pyreheart Wolf was just salt in the wounds for Highway Corsair as HT991122 won the match. Triask versus Karate Key 24. Game 1, Karate Key 24 started off strong with Knight of Infamy and Hell Rider, but red removal spells and a Geist of Saint Traff were enough for Triask to come back and win Game 1. Game 2 started out similarly to Game 1 as Karate Key 24 had Knight of Infamy and Hell Rider versus Triask's Geist of Saint Trap. But this time, Triask didn't have all the removal necessary to deal with their opposing creatures, and Karate Key 24 forces a third game. Game 3, Karate Key 24 played creature after creature, but each were met with burn from Triask. Geist of Saint Traff was the consistent clock that finished off Karate Key 24 and sent Triask to the semifinals. Silver Falcon vs. Osman Osguni Game 1, Silver Falcon used early removal to keep Osman Osguni's creature count in check. When Osman Osguni tried to rebuild a board presence, Ovenwall Tracker and even more black removal further thwarted those efforts and Silver Falcon's creatures easily took the first game. Game 2, an early champion of the parish from Osman Osguni put Silver Falcon on the hind foot as it grew bigger and bigger. Silver Falcon was forced to use Rancord enchanted creatures defensively but was eventually overran by Osman Osguni's human army. Game 3, Osman Osguni struggled to keep alive against Silver Falcon's larger creatures. Osman Osguni managed to get rid of quite a few of them, but the scavenge counters that came from them later are what propelled Silver Falcon to the semifinals. Yurari Yuko vs. TK Gods Game 1, Yurari Yuko got a very aggressive start with Hell Rider leading the charge. TK Gods had little to defend as Thragtus was outmatched and Yurari Yuko takes Game 1. Game 2, TK Gods built a comfortable life lead with Thragtusk and Huntmaster of the Fells, which made things difficult for Yurari Yuko. But when a miracle bonfire of the dam destroyed all of Yurari Yuko's creatures, TK Gods attacked for lethal the same turn descended to a Game 3. Game 3, Yurari Yuko snuck in a bit of damage with a few Vampire Nighthawks while TK Gods had the ground stalled to a halt. But it was again bonfire of the dam that cleared the way for TK Gods to knock out Yurari Yuko on the way to the semifinals. Semifinals, HT991122 versus Triask. Game 1, HT991122 had a blazing start with Stromkirk Noble and a couple of Ash Zealots. Triask didn't have the removal to keep up and HT991122 won the first game. Game 2, HT991122 kept with the consistency and put early pressure on Triask again. Triask did a better job of keeping up this game, but once Hellrider came out to play, HT991122 rolled the devil to a finals berth. Silver Falcon vs. TK Gods Game 1, Silver Falcon got the very powerful Uvenwall Tracker and Predator Ooze combo going, which meant that every creature TK Gods played met a quick fate. 
Rakdos returns strips Silverfalcon of a hand, but Rancor on the ooze meant that there was no defense that TK Gons could use to stay alive. Game 2, a strong start from Silverfalcon was met by a slight stumble on mana from TK Gons. TK Gons was always a couple of steps behind from that point and could do little to stop Silverfalcon from making it to the finals. And that brings us to the finals of the Magic Online Championship Series Player of the Year Championship. Silver Falcon versus HT991122. Game 1. HT991122 leads off with Rakdos Cackler. And with two more. Lotlift Troll for Silver Falcon. Troll trades with the Cackler. And Pyreheart Wolf is HT991122's follow up. Predator Ooze for Silver Falcon. HT991122 attacks with the team. Garrick Relentless for Silver Falcon takes out the Cackler. HT991122 takes out Garrick on this attack. Uvenwall Tracker and Dead Bridge Goliath for Silver Falcon. Hellion Crucible makes a Hellion token and Stone Right gives Pyreheart Wolf fire breathing. In comes the team. Silver Falcon can only double block one of HT991122's creatures and drops to two life. Silver Falcon adds Dread Mangler and stays back. HT991122 has the Searing Sphere to finish Silver Falcon off. On the game two. Game two. Silver Falcon starts with Strangle Root Geist. Ash Zealot for HT991122. Dreg Mangler for Silver Falcon. Gorehouse Chainwalker with no counter for HT991122. Ash Zealot pays the ultimate price and an Arbor Elf for a Silver Falcon. Gets Geist Flamed. Stromkirk Noble for HT991122. Dead Bridge Goliath for Silver Falcon. Pyreheart Wolf for HT991122, and it gets exiled by Sever the Bloodlines. Garrick Relentless fights Strongkirk Noble, which lets Brimstone Volley kill the Goliath. Thundermaw Hellkite takes out Garrick. Scavenge on the Strangaroo Geist makes it a 7-6 and out of range of most red removal. Flashback on Sever the Bloodlines gets rid of HT991122's blocker and sends us to Game 3. Game 3. HT991122 has Stromkirk Noble, then Gorehouse Chainwalker. The Chainwalker pays the ultimate price. Another Stromkirk Noble for HT991122. Predator Ooze from Silver Falcon, then Deathrite Shaman. HT991122 Searing Sphere takes out the Shaman. Pyreheart Wolf joins in. Wolfear Avenger at end of turn. Uvenwall Tracker and Dreg Mangler for Silver Falcon. Pillar of Flames takes out the Tracker and Mark of Munity forces through a lot of damage. Arbor Elf for Silver Falcon and no attacks. Hell Rider comes down for HT991122 and with Pyreheart Wolf in this Alpha Strike, blocking will be very difficult for Silver Falcon. Wolfear Avenger is added to aid in with that, but the dust settles and Silver Falcon is at one life. Not really the position you want to be against a mono red deck, as just about any card can deal that last point of damage. HT991122 has Market Mutiny to force through the attack, and that's the match. And we have a champion. Congratulations to HT991122, 2012 Magic Online Player of the Year. Now, if you'd like to see more coverage from this or any other Magic Online tournament, visit www.mtgonline.com. Thanks for watching the Magic Online Championship Series recap with me, Rashad Miller, and I'll see you next time for Last Chance Qualifier number one.